Ada Lovelace is an iconic figure from uh, Victorian, Victorian England. She's best known for the work that uh, she did with Charles Babbage, who is uh, famously known as, in reality, the inventor of, of the first computer. Uh, Babbage constructed first a, a, something called a difference engine and then and had the idea for something called an analytical uh, engine, which was uh, a computer that could um, actually do, do, do any kind of computation. And uh, she worked with him and, and wrote about it. And her kind of her claims to fame are, are twofold. First of all, that she in effect wrote the first computer program, so uh, a series of instructions that allowed or would have allowed the uh, analytical engine to, to work out certain certain numbers. It was never actually built, but uh, but, but, but it was the program was written. Um, and secondly, she was very much the, the first person to truly appreciate what the computer was was capable of in terms of not just constructing logarithm tables or other numbers, which is what uh, Babbage had invented it for, but the fact that it could be applied to, to any subject, any topic, uh, including, including music, uh, which could be, uh, for which you could use abstract uh, computation. And we're all used to now uh, listening to music on MP3 players, something we do all the time, but Ada was very much the first person to see that the, these computers had this, had this capability. We've named both of our daughters uh, after after women scientists. Our older daughter is called Ada after Ada Lovelace, and our, our younger daughter is called uh, Rosalind after Rosalind Franklin. And uh, we're, we're very very keen that uh, to use Ada's name because we think she is uh, you know very much an iconic figure and a real uh, example of of um, a contribution that has been made by 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 women to to science. In reality, of course, she, it was a challenging time. She wasn't able to get a formal education. She wasn't able to work as a professional mathematician. And, uh, and I've no doubt that had she had the opportunities that she might have had had she born, been born 100 years later, she would have contributed very many, very many great things. Do your daughters already know all about Ada? And They, they, they do know about Ada Lovelace, yes. I have, I have, I have several books on, on Ada Lovelace and then also on, on Charles Babbage, which obviously refer to Ada. And one of the books contains all of her letters. And one of the one of the great things about her is that, you know, she she wrote beautifully. You know, she had a mind that you know extended beyond mathematics and science, but also also her use of language is is, is fantastic, and and her writing is, is a real pleasure to read.